Hello there YouTube and welcome to another update video for GDCT. On your screen right now uh, you can see the standard bracket. Uh, I'm going to comment on a little bit of thing, a little bit of, um, I'd call it um, an unfortunate um, set of events that occurred. Uh, we lost three commentators in total in round two, moving into round three. Um, not due to losses, but due to actually them not being able to participate in the tournament. Um, the Scythian King is unable to participate in the tournament, so he is now out. Uh, Adol Wolf is not responding to anybody, um, so he is also, um, uh, he's in the loser's bracket now. Uh, if he does respond, he'll get to play. If he doesn't, which I don't think he will, uh, we've also lost him. Maxientius is also the same thing, he has not replied. So, in effect, Azuri Kazia, um, fan of gaming, and Jackie Fish have all gotten uh, automatic wins uh, in the second round, and now it's going to be a little bit easier for them to win uh, this tournament than, say, uh, you know, Kevin 12, Reflex CSS, myself, or the Prussian Prince, who have passed on through round one and round two, and now we're in round three. Uh, but there's not much we can do about that. As I said, it's an unfortunate set of events. So round three is upon us right now. We've got some cool matchups. The Prussian Prince plays fan of gaming. Uh, I'd say Prussian Prince is a little bit more experienced in the multiplayer uh, environment. But we'll see what fan of gaming can pull off in uh, that uh, first match. The second match is Kivan 12 against Jackie Fish. Now Jackie Fish moved into the third round through an auto win against Adol Wolf. But Kivan 12... Uh, has won the first and the second round against both Admiral Price and Henry Lin. And uh, so he has already won twice. He's already gotten feel for the tournament. And that could be an advantage for him that the nerves and the uh, the tensions that build up, especially at your first match, isn't going to be there for Keevan, but it might be there for Jackie Fish. I don't know. We'll see. Third match is uh, yours truly against Azuri Kazia, who also got a pass against Maxientius. Now, I know he does have a lot of uh, multiplayer experience. He does play. He does have... Um, uh, he's, he's pretty good. I've checked out some of his videos. You guys should check them out as well. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to uh, win that. We'll see. If not, I'll still have a chance in the loser's bracket. And the final match is Reflex CSS, a.k.a. Point Man. And he's playing Jim1109-1995, a.k.a. Tavington. And I think they're both from the HM clan. And the, the way that this thing was uh, randomized is that now the HM uh, clan... Uh, is facing each other off yet again. So first it was Tavington versus Alsonal or Alanaz, and now it's Pointman versus Tavington. So we'll see who the best HM is. Um, as you can see, the semifinals are coming really close. And uh, yeah, that is all for the actual bracket. Moving on to the losers bracket, which you can see on your screen right now. Uh, Emperors of War played against Heron Nearly 22, and he did win. So he has now moved to round two of the bracket. Uh, you can see that uh, LB3 is a complete pass because of the uh, the people we dropped. Maxientius also has been dropped, so now it's Alone Soul. Uh, Alsonal versus Heir of Carthage, who did beat Freud 100 in the round one uh, off the loser's bracket. Another pair up is Lee Garden 3 against Admiral Price, and uh, the winner of that will be facing the winner from Pizza Man and Yo Yo 007 um, 008. So these are the matchups, guys. And um, um, I hope you guys will uh, keep enjoying the tournament. Um, you can see here that Emperors of War has passed into round three, mainly because uh, his opponent, uh, as I said, was disqualified uh, from the tournament. So round two now, if the loser's bracket is still going on, um, I'll be sending out details for both Lee Garden, uh, Admiral Price, Pizza Man, Yo Yo, and uh, uh, as well as Air of Carthage and El Sonal. Hopefully we can get the LB5 and LB6 matches done and out of the way before we can move on to round 3 of the loser's bracket to keep things nice and uh, equal. But anyway, I hope you guys uh, you guys enjoyed this little update video. Remember to check out the commentators if you have not already done so. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.